Hi there Year 1s, it's Mrs Sweeney with Lesson 2 for our new chapter in Maths, Numbers to 20. I hope you've got all your resources. For this lesson we are actually learning to write our numbers to 20. Um, you will need your uh, cards for your numbers to 20 and also your words. So there should be a sheet that I've uploaded. If you cannot print these off um, for any reason, please you can actually just write them down on a piece of paper and have them stuck on your fridge or have them with you for your learning this week okay so it is not a problem if you can't print them They're very easy to make you just write the numbers with the help of your mummies and daddies at home uh, from all the way from 1 to 20 and then you write them as words your mummies and daddies can do that for you because they will know how to write them correctly and spell them correctly so have these ready with you and then we can move on Okay, today our learning objective is to be able to recognise, read and write numbers in up to 20, both in words and in their numerical form. Now, yesterday we learned about counting on from 10. So how many counters are there in this image? Now, let's pause the video, talk to your talk partner, tell me how many there are and how do you know? Okay. Okay, so you should have said to your learning partner, that I know that all my slots in my tens frame are full, so I've got 10, and I'm going to count on from 10, which was our learning yesterday. I've got 11, 12, 13. I'd like you to pause the video again and answer these questions. How do you write this number, the number 13, using digits? Could you have a go at writing it in your books at home? How do you write it? And when you've done that, I'm going to ask you another question. How do you write that number using words? How do you write 13 as a number, as a digit? How do you write it using words, letters? Okay, so you might need to use a bit of your phonics there. When you've done that, we will explore it together a bit more. Okay, so our focus task today is to count the flowers okay and how do we write the number in words so we're not just writing in um, numerical form we are also writing it in numbers uh, in word form sorry now I know you might not have flowers at home you might not even have toy flowers at home and real flowers would make our learning a bit messy so you can use something else that could represent our flowers now in school we normally use our counters but you can use any objects at home that you might have okay buttons spoons socks as i said earlier in my previous lesson any object that you have that can represent your flowers as we do in school we have our counters how many flowers are there in this image so can you please make sure that you pause the video we've got a very important resource so we've got our tens frame that will help us do this so you should have one that you've drawn you should have one that you have already printed out for um, yourselves so have a go at counting how many flowers there are when you've done that we can check together okay so we've got our tens frame which is full and I've got my counter here. So let's add my counters. I've got 10, 11, 12, and 13. Is, you, is that what you had as well? That's right, there are 13 flowers. Now earlier I asked you to write this number, okay, to write this as a number using digits. Now, I'm going to double check. I've written it. Got 13 as a number. Looks like that, and my 3 is the right way around. And I'm going to use my phonics now. I'm going to write it as a word using a child friendly font. Definitely not that one. That one. So I'm going to write it here. 13. 
that's how I write it and that's how it is written. So double check with your word card and your number card if you've got that right. However, when we move on, just want you to notice what you see when you look at the numbers here. So these are the numbers from 11 to 20. Here are the numbers from 1 to 9. Okay, what do you notice about these numbers? I'm going to ask you to pause the video and see what you notice. Just trying to see if this makes a bit more space. I'm going to move it up a bit so you can see all the way down. Look. So what do you notice if between these two rows of numbers, two columns, Okay, pause the video and have a discussion. Okay, you should have noticed that when you look on this side, if you see, I'm going to do that, you will notice that in the words, in the numbers, all the numbers on the right hand side are the same as on the numbers on this column. However, the only time that changes is it's got one on the left hand side. They also have different names. Not all of them have teen at the end. Okay, so you could just see the three, we've got 13. Okay, we don't say three teen. We've got four and we say 14. We've got or and the suffix as a teen. Fit five, we don't say five teen, we say fifteen. So the teen numbers have got their own unique names. So you've got sixteen, then we've got the suffix there. We've got seventeen, we've got the teen suffix there. We've got eight with a teen at the end, reminding you that it's a teen number between now eleven and twenty. And then you've got 19. Okay, so the only words that are quite different are 20. You've got 15, 13, 12 and 11. So they have different names. And again, you would have noticed, well, first noticed was that all the numbers on the left hand side are the same as the numbers in this column. So all the ones column numbers are the same. And we'll explore ones and tens a bit more in our learning as we go along in year one. So that's something that I just wanted to point out to you. Okay, now we wrote the number 13 earlier. Now it's one ten and three ones, okay? And you'll understand that a bit more when we talk about place value in our learning, okay? Now I have a friend, he says when you write the numbers above 10, you just write 10 and then you add the amount, just like you do in a tens frame. So this is the word 13. And she said, oh, I just write 10 and a 3. Is that right? What about 14? She's done 10 and a 4. She said, I'm going to write the number 10. And I'm going to add a 4 next to it. Do you think this is true? Is this correct? Is this how we write numbers above 10? Have a think, pause the video. Well done for having that discussion. Now we do not do that. We because this number here is not 103, it's not 13, it is 103. So it's a very different number. It's a three-digit number. So we don't write it 13 like that. Mm -mm. Big cross. We write 13 with 110 and we just add the three ones at the end. Okay, we don't put a zero in the middle because that becomes a completely different number. And the same goes for 14. Just got 110. We don't put a zero in the middle, just put the four ones at the end. Okay. Now if you would like to make these on your tens frames and double check so you've got 110 got one tens frame so that's the way I think about it how many tens frames did you use 
you just used one ten string and then you had three outside. You used one ten string and you have four left outside. Okay, so once you've had a little bit of a practice doing that, you are going to do this with your partner. You're going to pause the video with your partner at home. You're going to think of a number from 10 to 20. You're going to make that numbers using make that number using a 10 string and any object that you like instead of counters. You are going to write that number as a digit. Remember, we don't put a zero. So how many 10 string did you use? Just the one. And then you are going to write it as a word and you should have your word cards with you for this session. OK, when you've done that, we can move on. OK, now I've got some activities for you for today and these are entirely optional. You need to be in groups of three. OK, so you could be your your mummy and your daddy as a three. You could be you, your mummy, daddy or um, a sibling if they're able to join you. You need cards to 20. You need words and numerals. OK, you are going to have a game of memory. Now you're going to have the cards facing down. You're going to take it in turns to pick a digit card and you're going to take it in turns to pick a, num a word card. If they match, they're yours. If they don't match, you put them back again. So it's a bit like a memory game. And if you've got the most cards, you are the winner. So you're matching your number to its word. OK, just like we did in our position game where we had to match the number to its position. OK, but this is with the number to its word, all the numbers up to 20. Have a go at playing that game at the end of the session if you would like to. OK, I've got a bit of guided practice. Again, the top tip is when you're counting, you make your 10 and then you write it on. OK, so let's count. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to circle my 10. So bear with me. Oh, sorry, got a bit carried away there. So I've got my 10. Let's count on. That's my 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. How do I write my 14? I've used one 10 and then I've got four left over. OK, so how am I going to write that as a word? That's right. I'm going to get my special font of four and teen 14. Could you pause the video and do it for this one? OK, you might want to count on the screen how many there are. When you've done that, you can write it as a digit and then as a word. OK. Once you have done that, you have come to the independent part of your learning. So you've got a sheet that looks a bit like this. You've got your in focus task make the 10 first and then count on and we've already discussed this but I'm not going to give it away how many there were because it's your job to find out there are some so many flowers all together so you're writing the word for the uh, number in that blank space or if you would like to you write the digit and then you are circling the correct number that matches your answer so is it this one? You circle it if it's that one. You can circle it if it's that one. You can circle it if it's that one. OK, and then you can add sound buttons as well if you if it helps you. You've then got a worksheet that looks a bit like this. It says colour in the correct number. So the first one's done for you. You follow on with the rest of the questions. Then you've got circle the fish. Remember to make your 10 and then count on. I would do the left hand side first, so you count and write your number as a digit and then once you've done all of these on the left hand side, you then match them to the correct word. OK, and once you've done that, there is one more little sheet left. You make your 10, count on, write the number in words in the box here. OK, so that's your third sheet. And then you are done for today. 
hope you enjoyed your maths year ones and I will see you again for another session. Bye for now.